Ho, ho, ho. Hi. I'm looking around at everything anxiously. Duel Masters? Are we doing Duel Masters? I have a Duel Masters card somewhere. Not right there, though. I jiggled my cord and it disconnected. Oh boy. Are we talking Digimon? Let me make sure this is... Okay, we're still working. We're good. I was reconfirming um, our progress so far because I found a website I like. Uh, it is i-made-a.website. Uh, this comes from a YouTuber who I think it goes by Lyra made a website? Yeah, look at that. They've been doing Living Deck stuff. And I found their site. Pretty neat. They have a little grid here you can go in and... A, it shows you which order all the boxes should be, right, if you're keeping everything numerical. And you can just kind of click and uh, keep track of which ones you got. It's also encounter tables? And you can, like... What are the Pokemon only in the Safari Zone? What are the very common Pokemon? Like, what's the theoretical best location for Pokemon? Very neat website. Uh, so I've been enjoying that. Shout out to them. They also have rare candy locations where you can get fishing rods, HMs. Interesting uh, capture information. I, I guess we'll be testing out soon, right? This is where I find out my mic's been muted the whole time. No, we're good. <clears throat> Whoa, hold up. Twitch chat is saying, what is happening? This isn't coming on stream, chat. Everyone watched three consecutive streams this month and sparked a watch streak. I don't know what that means, but I'm happy for all of you, I guess. Let me fix my chat up a little bit. Now I can read more of what's going on. Um. That, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what watch streaks do for me, but I'm happy for all of you. Okay, I'll figure that out some other time. That's gonna fall, but we'll enjoy that while we can. Pokemon Stadium! I beat the Poke Cup. Um, that's as much time as I put in the stadium. Ooh. Gen 1 has been good so far. We are at Cerulean City. We have maybe 14 to 15 Pokemon tour name. Current party way off to the right part of the stream. You can see it here. We have our Pikachu. We have our Spearow, named Spearow, of course. That's what you name a Spearow. We have Nidoran female. And we have Ivy Sour. Pretty neat. That's what we got now. We, of course, have more in our PC. I don't think we need to bother with them for now. But basically what we've done is we've gotten the Boulder Badge, as you can see below the screen there and we have just gotten here we didn't even look at the route over there i was just trying to get over here to heal but with our current uh resources which is four thousand pokey dollars it's not nothing but it's also hmm, you know i should uh put some things away that i'm not using actually because there's limited inventory in pokemon gen 1. Eh, only mods and streamers can see it pop well there you go no one even knows what we're talking about then, huh? My PC... let's see... No reason to hold on to TMs at this point. I want to ensure I have a rare candy for later. Hold on to the Moonstone since we have Nidoran with us. Dome Fossil we don't need. We made a lot of crap, huh? 
When did most of the quality of life stuff hit Pokemon? It's come in waves, right? Like, Gen 3 introduced running shoes, and I feel like even just being able to move faster that much earlier in the game is a quality of life feature. But then if you think about TM stuff, like, that's... Was it Let's Go or Sword and Shield that had unlimited TMs first? Like, I'd count that. Then you gotta think about HMs. Do you qualify HMs as quality of life, right? I kinda do. Where do you really start that? You know, Gen 7? Gen 6? I don't remember if Gen 6 had HMs. Do I need to do anything in here? This guy tells me what they do. Which I don't need. Gen 5 introduced reusable TMs. Well, there you go. That shows you how much attention I paid. The thing about quality life features is that you kind of get used to them. And as you go from Gen to Gen, you kind of forget where they came from until you go back. Is there nothing out here? Okay. HMs are always infinite, yes. Um, I'll move you up there, right? Oh, manually changing your box. That would be... I don't remember if Gen 2 automatically moves to a a box with space. Hmm. I'm looking forward to remembering as we go along, though. <laughs> I should have spent all my money in case he rolls me. What am I doing? a bit of a difference. I wasn't, like, in the zone. I completely forgot there was a fight here. <laughs> oh, Pikachu. Okay. I don't trust this. Kevin made you fight his Abra that didn't have any attacks. Good times, right? Come here. Okay! Huh. I, when I saw Gust happen, I was like, oh, we can survive a Gust? Easy. I know it's normal, so it's not not going to be very effective, but you know. We got this. Okay. Our experience trick is working at least. Look at that. Two levels up. We're doing great. I guess we'll find out if this is a base Abra, right? Oh. <laughs> I guess this is just a base Abra. Hmm. Which gen is the best rival? Hmm. I'm inclined toward Gold and Silvers just because the backstory that they eventually filled in with Heart Gold Soul Silver is really cool. Um, if I'm looking at it maybe more objectively, it doesn't really fit in all that well, but it is still cool. I liked Bead and Sword and Shield quite a bit. And then... Barry has an enthusiasm I like. A lot of them don't stand out to me, honestly. It's kind of just those ones. It does just have a Rattata. Maybe I can get Nidoran in here, then. Oh, no. No, I can't. Oh, Nidoran. Oh, Nidoran. I'm not even gonna 
try. I'm just gonna let this happen whenever he stomps me. There it is. Okay. <laughs> yep. You tried. You got most of the way there. That's good. Yeah, the thing with, uh... I never, I never remember that. The gold silver rival. The thing with him is, like, it'd be cool, but you don't even see Giovanni and Johto, right? Like, in the... The event for Harkle and Soul Silver you do, but you're going strictly by the original game. Even if it is subtly implied there or whatever, you wouldn't even know, right? And even with that event. Oh Charmander. Ice is nice. Ice is nice. Keith John Stack? Hi Keith, thank you. Thank you. I'm getting walloped. What? Why didn't he evolve his Charmander? Why does it say he was seated? I always have the dilemma. Is a not very effective stab attack better than a normal... Hmm. Okay, I see. I feel like either way, we're just gonna have to bash our head against this. Yep, yeah, okay. Brandon doesn't even fully fall through starter? They don't? Oh, Ruby Sapphire. Mm, that's what I was worried about. Well, I'm sapping an immense two hit points per turn, so I think we got this, actually. Oh. We do actually have this, don't we? 1.5 damage, not very effective, cut that in half. It's 0.75 multiplayer? I see. So at this point in the game, it's just flipping a coin. Ha! I don't think that should have been as close as it was. Hmm. Final fight with May Brendan is before Gym 6. They have like early level 30 Pokemon. That's right. Was it Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire that had another fight with him later, or am I just imagining that? Maybe I'm mixing him up with Wally. Oh, Bill. Oh, okay. I thought I remembered that, but I was too busy walking into a sign to be sure. Mm -hmm. So what has everyone been up to, I should ask, since we're still early on here and I didn't... I've been a weird... I've had a weird day of holding patterns. I feel like all day I've just been waiting on other things to happen so I can do things. Uh, which makes this nice. I think I've gotten everything I need to get done, finished for the day. Basically, I'm waiting for tomorrow, because tomorrow I am going out into the real world. But today, I'm kind of at home just doing things. Eight Rattata? I guess we can grind here, right? Specifically, I'm going to see my partner, and we're going to watch... Suzumi? Suzumi? We have tickets for that, and I'm pretty excited for that. We may also feed some ducks. We'll see what happens with that. We may get out of the movie too late for ducks to still be at the pond. Mmm, Spiro. Okay. I do still need a Spiro. Because I do plan on evolving this one too, Fero. But there's no catch XP, and I'm trying to grind. Ugh. It's the only real place to grind for Misty if you need to. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. I feel like I need to. I think there's a world where I could just brute. Okay, if well, I have to catch that. There's a world where I can just brute force, um... 
And buy Pokeballs. Whatever. Basically, I think I could force through Misty's gym, but I could also see that Starmie somehow still being an issue. Alright. That's ten. <laughs> I was waiting for when I'd have to do this. Okay, which one? There, I fixed it. I'm gonna go back over here to my little website. That's already set. Alright, cool. There was some talk uh, the other day when we were streaming, and apparently it doesn't store what Pokeball you caught it in. I imagine that means anything will eventually push out will just be in a Pokeball. The cliff, there is a point in that return so you can get through Rock Tunnel. Mm, we're getting sad on. You watched a friend finish off KH1, there you go. Shiny Mew and Mewtwo. Gotcha. Okay. Well, it's good I'm not letting myself care about that aspect then. Because I have, unfortunately, been beginning to fall down the rabbit hole as a Scarlet and Violet of being like, Oh, it's cool to catch certain Pokemon in certain Pokeballs. And I know that's just a disease that will spread through my mind if I let myself really kind of focus on that too much. And... Hi, Joe. I think we are. Um, I may... I may be a, a naughty little boy and turbo some grinding soon. Because we are far behind and I don't want to make anyone else sit through more of that than they need to. the um, speed up audio is like uncomfortable. It's like doing better than I thought it would, but I don't want to make anyone weird with it. I'd love to do a run of a game with a star you sometime. And a Starmie. Never used it. There's so many Pokemon that you just don't even get to use a lot of them at some point. Is there a place with Lincoln Park? Well, I mean, now we're talking. Okay. Curious. I have the speed up assigned to my right stick click, as you do. So it's interesting to input and try to speed it up. I think I mostly just want to gain a couple levels on everyone. Ooh, sand shrew! I didn't buy pokeballs. But I know I can get one here. Sandshrew doesn't look that much like uh, modern Sandshrew, but I do still like the way Sandshrew looks in this game, you know what I mean? I'm kind of thinking if I should try using one for a bit, because we will have Surge later on. And I don't have anything explicitly great against Surge, other than the fact that Ivysaur can resist electric. And I guess Pikachu can technically, but not ideal, right? Where's the store? There it is. Alright. 
so 17, and I want more potions. Well, I'm poor again. <laughs> Starmie is like a top four Pokemon in this game. Oh! I didn't know Starmie was that good. I knew it was good, I just didn't know it was that good. Okay. Hey, look at that. See if it works. Sandshrew is not good in Gen 1. It can only learn ground moves through TM. <laughs> ah! Why is Gen 1 like this? <laughs> All debuff moves used by AI in this game only have 75% accuracy. Which is why the sand attacks from Sandshrew fail sometimes. Sandshrew's been on my mind because there's a ton spawning of Pokemon Go right now, right? So I was looking at this like, oh, a great opportunity to finally use Sandshrew and Sandslash and see what's up. <sighs> Gen 1 really do be like this, though. Like, what can you really say other than, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's the Generation 1 experience sometimes. Big Pokes are Tauros, Snorlax, Chansey, Executor, Starmie, Rhydon, Zapdos, and Gengar, and Slowbro. I was looking at how good Slowbro's sprite was on that website, and I was like, I've never used Slowbro either. That'd be something kind of cool. So if it happens to also be fantastic, then maybe... Maybe we'll wind up with one of those on the team. Oh, Sandshrew, why are you like this? Since Gen 1 only have two rock moves and they both suck. <laughs> Cartoon Network Obama brings up a great point. In this game, anything that can survive one Hyper Beam is pretty good. Because there's no cooldown if you KO an opponent with Hyper Beam in this game. I do at least know that much. <sighs> um, let me, let me do a little considering here. Go over to the browser. Um, what number is Sandshrew here? 23. Oh, okay. Well, we can just catch a sand slash later. That's fine. We don't need to worry about getting another one now. Cartoon Network Obama. <laughs> How you doing? 99? That's a couple more fights. That's fine. Throw and rock slide. We do get dig soon. That is true. It's not like we are never getting a ground type move soon. But I've also never really used Dickwood or Dug Trio either, so. Rock moves have low accuracy, Soul Bro is the best amnesia user, and is double calm mind in this game. Dragon Rage is the only dragon move. No bug move is above 25 base power, except for Twin Needle. Uh. It really is something. Thank goodness there are like five other takes on Kanto to choose from, right? If all of that starts getting to you too much. For me, it's kind of amusing, but it is also like, alright, well, I can't do that then, right? I can't use this thing I thought I could use. I can, but it'll be a lot more bothersome. <laughs> the trio is great. Trit chances, right, right. <clears throat> no arena trap. I might have to try and make myself learn some of these things. I'm guessing Arena Trap means opponents can't switch out? If I had to infer from the name. Ooh. 
Well, this isn't happening. That can't happen. Bring in the sore. I had a Let's Go's credit music on as my starting soon theme. The world may need to reevaluate Let's Go, is all I'll say for now. Hey, I think there are some people um, who will, like, uh, what's it called? Pokemon Showdown? I think that is support for, like, different generations, right? There are people who do, like, Gen 1 and they keep track of the meta and all that stuff. And they do Don't worry, Spyro, do I won't be needing any Pikachu. more of your money. <laughs> oh, hey. Yo, Mykonos. How's it going? This is Joey. Got a minute? How are your Pokemon doing? My Rattata's looking sharper than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in your party. Alright, later. Click. <laughs> it's so convenient knowing a Joey at times like this. Thank you, Joey, for 45 bits. <laughs> oh. The real fun will be Joey popping up in chat while we're doing Gen 2. And that way we get basically double. I need to heal. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. Why did you put your Rattata in a pencil sharpener? Why not? Who wouldn't? I don't have explicit memories of partner Eevee being broken, but I remember feeling that if I wanted to play the entire game with that Eevee, that I would have been able to. So... Take that for what you will. It's kind of fun in a way, but... Um, at the same time, it is nice to use other Pokémon. Okay, we gotta heal. At some point, I need to do Gen 2. I have a partial crystal save. It has... I think it's beaten Jasmine. It's the one I was um, playing in this and posting about in the server like a year or two ago. I do still have that. So I'd probably start like a gold or silver and run through that. And try to get anything you can't get in crystal and then double back and go with that. Because like I've still never done the Selby event in Crystal 3DS. So I want to do that somehow. I had my AC on this whole time. How unprofessional of me. I'm sure that's been bleeding through. <laughs> Alright, Pikachu's level 15. I love not being able to see how close I am to leveling up. Yeah. I am... Hmm. One second. Let me, let me look at something here. Because there is a... Is a thing I could maybe do. A thing I thought I could do. Hmm? <laughs> well, not that. That's not what I was trying to do. Hold on. Not that. So we lose the artwork on the BDSP style overlay, but we can see how far we are from leveling up, which might actually be just useful for everyone, right? That may help us all out. What else do we have here? Hard art? That's kind of cool, but not really what we need. Pokeball? Don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Hi, Moriarty. Thank you. We're messing around with the overlay. It's going better than the other day when we messed around with the overlay. Let's go plain? Ah, that doesn't have it. Okay. I think... I, um, I don't like losing the artwork of what Pokemon we have. I think it's easier to look at a glance and see that, but... 
we can kind of see the XP we need for the next level there, so maybe that's something? Maybe that's alright? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Moriarty, I try. I think I'm maybe figuring out some basics of OBS now, who knows. Oh yeah, Spider Knife gave us a new emote for the chat. It's my face looking upset at something. <laughs> so you can now squish me in another way. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't adjust the colors on that. That's just brilliant diamond shining pearls overlay. And that's all, the only option I really get with that. I can't use Thunder Shock on that. I didn't want to run, but there we go. If we play this game out twice a week for two to four hours, maybe two to three months. Uh, at some point, I will be increasing the frequency. Maybe next week. Because I, I don't want to spend that long doing this. I need to level up Nidoran. <laughs> What's the red circle? Wait. updating in real time experience bar. Well, that's cool. This is a neat little thing. Pokemon fans are crazy, dude. Alright, I'm not sure Pikachu can lead the party anymore. There's too many sand shrews. <laughs> Alright, Spider Knife, this was a good remote idea. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm already pleased with this. I think it's already paying off in spades. What am I doing? There, that. Po ground resist poison? Man, the things you forget, huh? Alright. Spider did everything, Joey. You don't understand. It all started with Spider, actually. Hi, Jezdenmon. What's up? Ooh. No experience. <sighs> Pikachu could get another level. So I think we at least need to see that through, and then I think we're good to move north, right? Man, that's neat. Not you. You invented the Big Bang. Wow, put that in your Tinder profile, right? Level 12 Sparrow, man. Oh. We still have a level up? What the heck? Alright, this'll do it. And quick attack. Alright. I think we're doing... I think we're better than we were, uh, aside from maybe Nidoran, but I... Oof. When does, um... does Nidoran evolve? Level 16? We're basically almost there. So I mean, at that point, I may as well, right? This isn't Zelda or State of Play. Is the State of Play today? I didn't even... I just saw it was about one game and was like, all right. Final Fantasy 16, I've heard, looks very good. Not to put it down. I, that's just the kind of game where when that's in my hands, I think I would appreciate it. But I'm not sure seeing more of that game is going to really sway me one way or the other at this point, you know? It's right now? We could be watching the state of play together? And we're not? What if they announce a new Crash Bandicoot? Like, they said they wouldn't. But what if they did? Navigation in Final Fantasy 16 is driven via a world map, with locations being added 
and updated as players progress through the main narrative. The world map can be opened at any time, allowing players access to all manner of locations across Valistia. What? Here, players will meet little new friends, tools over there. encounter that. formidable foes, and uncover great and wondrous Oh, their search rankings are strong! <laughs> Unfortunately, the Pokemon music is not from Final Fantasy 16, I'm sorry. This is the power of uh, Visual Boy Advance nowadays. This looks pretty crazy, but it also doesn't quite look as good as Stranger in Paradise. I think it's like a 20 minute thing. I don't think I want everyone to actually watch this, but I didn't want to keep getting to the meme, but that's a pretty cool. Oh, hold on. Next, Where's I'd more? like to talk about the combat of Final Fantasy 16. All the battles in the game take place in real time and are not turn-based. This looks like a good game for me to be bad As at. Clive progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. <laughs> <laughs> Said it so passionately, so you have to take a moment to admire it. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks for the watch streak, bro. Thanks to Cartoon Network for long enough for the hydrate. No one wants to drink. God, you're just drowning me out of it. Oh, true. Yo, thanks. I forgot that Edge Browser defaulted back to nothing. All right, this looks cool. Doesn't look as cool as this, though. All right, that tab finally closed. <laughs> Okay. What's the point of this game when Pokemon Stadium exists? Honestly, a great question. Why is he called Clive? You know, he's got a wrench. Did that game come out? I know Kevin got a review code for it. I'm thinking it came out. I think I'm allowed to say that he got a code for it. I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. He never played it. Oh, poor Nita Ran. Richard and Clive. I think we will try to raise Nidoran along the way. <laughs> I don't want to spend any more time in that patch of grass. Ah! Is this better or worse than a little town hero? Pokemon Blue? Oh, man. I mean, I like Pokemon Blue more than a little town hero, so... I'm gonna say maybe, actually. I'm gonna go through Nugget Bridge, right. Good thing we went up, actually. So I haven't saved in a while. Level 14. 
Level 14. I might be a little more liberal with the speed up function for a while. <laughs> Just because I was thinking about what A said, and I was like, if this is two or three hours twice a week. Cool. Oh, I can't beat the tar out of you with poison moves. Okay. We did it. Uh, I've been playing, um,. Legends Arceus. Status effects go away when a battle ends in that game. I got a little used to that. It was nice, even. Jim, what isn't that long, is it? Mm. No, but we're... We're doing some extra homework on top of just playing Gen 1, so that would make it take even longer. And there is something to be said for the authentic experience, for sure. That's sad. Oh. Oh, I poisoned it? Let's go! <laughs> exactly, we gotta get the Gen 2 guys, come on. I have to spend weeks hunting Raikou and Entei on stream. Okay... Hmm, who do I trust more now? Pikachu? Twenty to forty sounds right, right? Like... I at least know where I'm going for the most part. Like, maybe some of the caves I'll get stuck, but... It's not much room for me to get lost and dilly dally too much. Whew. Gambling's legal in this game? Uh, gambling's legal up until. Black and white, I want to say? I think you can go that far with gambling in the series. Heart gold, silk, silver, right. That's it. The Voltorb flip, right. Those pesky German laws got rid of a feature that no one really misses. <laughs> Trust you to survive this, Nidoran? Hmm. Who needs some easy XP? Okay, all of them. <laughs> Let's see how Spiro does here. Double penetration, no. Oh, it just looks like a snake. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Harry has a great point. We're also gonna have to deal with the safari. That will be a thing down the road. On Zubat, why was it like that? <laughs> because not only am I going to need to catch one of everything from the Safari Zone, I'm also going to be crazy and catch like two Chansey, for example. That way, I have a Blissey from Kanto, and that will take a while. Oh, <clears throat> unless we get lucky. We've had pretty good luck so far in terms of... Well, I guess just Clefairy, right? It's an R Island exploit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
We'll weigh our options when we get there. Who is in this house again? Oh, that's an old lady sprite. Okay. This is where you get Jinx? Yeah. Okay. Right. That is how the coast of Cinnabar would work there. That is true. Right. I was going to say, by that logic, you could probably get Dratini pretty easily, but I don't think Dratini is that rare there, right? Clefairy killed Kevin's family. Good thing we're stuffing it in the PC. Pidgeys are a little more OP than I remembered them being. I feel like every time I'm running into a Pidgey member in this game, it's like walloping me more than I would expect it to. Sure. It only works for grass encounters. Alright, Dratini is a fisher boy, isn't it? Save states for catching Pokemon. We'll get there. Like, I want to at least try to give some things an authentic chance, but honestly, that's probably what will wind up happening. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to walk a line between keeping things brisk, keeping myself and you, you sane, and also trying to actually play the game. That line is going to be all over the place as we go along. <laughs> Uh, Joey, I didn't catch a shiny in here, but I just about stepped on a shiny Gravor and Arceus earlier, so does that count? It just kind of popped up in front of me. Oh, come on. This is going to poison me. Nope. Oh! Oh! Dratini, you don't need to worry about as much as it doesn't use up steps. Yeah, true, 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 true. Mm -hmm. That is true about the Safari Zone, isn't it? Hmm. These games are so strange. Didn't I... I need to check my settings, actually. We are on faxed... faxed... Fast tech speed. Oh, what's up, objective binary? We're out here. It's always a cop around when you don't need him. Well, now I feel safe if you guys struggle with him. Okay. I remember right, this guy's got some poison types, which we have nothing for, so that's good. That's how your dad got killed by a Cleffa. Oh. Oh, he's a manky. Never mind. I'm stupid. Manky definitely got better over time. I'm not sure there's many people in the world who would look at that and be like, no, that's the real manky there. That's the way he's supposed to be, damn it. General ones, Pokemon fans with OG and his Dragon Quest is the DQ fans. Those Dairy Queen fans, though, I tell ya. Hmm. I'm not sure how Dragon Quest fans feel about the first game. Usually I see Dragon Quest fans just so happy that someone's considering trying their series that they're like, yeah, try whatever one you're thinking about, please, God. Alright, we're swapping. I have not seen that scene and everything everywhere all at once with the butt plug, but now I'm very interested in that movie. <laughs> Cause what? 
just ask Ted True. Oh, right, there's a rocket member after the guy. He's not the fifth member. <laughs> That's the real Maggie, bro. Is Ichiban the Exan Shadow of Yakuza? Like, is that just. Is that game just kind of about Ted? Much to think about. Oh, I love earning fabulous prizes. Get the water out early. <laughs> yes, Ted went to jail for 20 years. Holy shit. I knew he seemed a little rough around the edges, but oh my god. As a kid, I wanted the option just to see what would happen. I know, in true video game fashion, he would just say, I don't believe you, let's fight anyway. But imagine if this would branch off here and you could go join Team Rocket and like upset it from the inside or something, you know? I dared to engage with the game, now I'm gonna pay for it. Which Ted? Oh, you know, Ted? Ted Eggs in Shadow? Oh, this is painful. It was Kiryu then? Mm. What was that LP group from the two late 2000s? Like, Shadow Fire commentaries or whatever the hell? There's Hellfire commentaries, but there's like a Shadow... something commentaries. I just wanted to growl this thing before I got out of here, so I could lower it as its hack and hit it with something else. And this didn't... This was a bad idea. This plan didn't go well. Teddy Roosevelt. I have a bird attacking a snake here. That's the natural order of things, right? <laughs> Sun Kermit. Ah, we survived. Thank goodness. Isn't it an American state flag? <laughs> You know, I was like, kind of keeping Pikachu around as a bit of a meme, but... It's kind of proven his worth a bit. Like, I don't know if I want to go endgame with a Raichu, but... And it feels like that might wind up happening at this point. something I'm curious about. I know if we evolve Need Arena right now, our moveset kind of gets locked down, right? Like, isn't it a thing where once you evolve to Need a Queen, you just don't learn new moves? Or am I thinking of something else? Sarah B, Ruby, Need Arena. This move set. I'm sure chat's catching up and telling me, but while I'm here. Red, green, and blue level up. We got Poison Sting at level 14. At level 23, we get Tail Whip. And at level 32, we get Bite. <sighs> at least you can learn a bunch of different TMs as these ones, right? Bubble Bean? I wouldn't want to give it to this one, but we could. Oh, actually, you get Body Slam at level 23 if you evolve it. That's the last move you get, but are you going to miss any of these other moves? <laughs> okay. 
Hmm. <clears throat> I just had to stop and see who that mole was. Lukachins. <clears throat> so what I'm hearing is we're evolving this thing. Pokemon's going to stay in this party anyway. We got it! Let me update my own website. Mm -hmm. Boom, we got a Needle Queen. Sup? So. Now it's sweet to water right before the gym. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get through it. <clears throat> Think of the stack game we got now, though. Like, we're doing so good. <laughs> hey, I've reconsidered. Mm, let's see. Um, I should address the Mew glitch. I looked into... It, it's like arbitrary code execution or whatever bullshit phrase for it. That makes me register as legit in Pokemon Home. And it seems easier to do on red version. Maybe a little negligible, but whatever. So I'm not going to worry about the Mew glitch here. But just in case, I'm going to leave some of the trainers that you can do it with unfought. Oh. It's like a zombie coming to ask if you got games on your phone. Stone Devolution Mons. I know what you mean, but man, I read that a certain way at first. I'm gonna count that as the bell sprout we got for the Pokédex. Or for the uh, living decks, right? Number 69, bell sprout. <laughs> A carnivorous Pokémon that traps and eats bugs uses its root feet to soak up needed moisture. No, thank you. Are you gonna make it shiny? I... Mm. No. No, I'm not. I'd like to have a standard one for the living decks, unfortunately. Which means I'd probably do a second run to make it shiny. So when we talked about the ones that are annoying and that we should save state before, I, uh, I feel like this is one. Where it's like, all right, we can sit here and run around and look for Abra, or we can just do this until it works. That's twice now I've set that up for that, and it just worked first try. So, all right. <sighs> now, I'm not going to, like... Actually, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and immediately put that thing into our party and go for it. And I still have to catch it twice more. That's a good point. <laughs> I can't resist. There's like a draw, right? Like, there's just... I need to have this thing on my party. It's a good Pokemon eventually. Alright, so... We'll drop these in here. And this seems like a good time to double-check our box amount. 
It's only level 10. It's only level 10! How many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's close enough. That's three spaces left. Twenty-six percent chance to catch turn one. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, no special fancy ones here. Teleport's kind of useful to have right now. Oh, please forgive me for what I'm about to do, chat. I always interpreted that as a big horn on its back sticking out. Or a big spike. I don't know why. But it's what I did. Port it over to Gen 2 and back so you can use Thunder Punch or Ice Punch TMs on it. And that'll stay, huh? Weird. Ball uniform it wears. There you go. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to. Turns out I did. Fifty-seven to level eleven. Okay, I was looking at the little overlay thing that wasn't keeping up with us. I don't know if it's because I'm speeding up or what. Oops. Right, this is a Pikachu. Crazy between getting that magic heart before Mount Moon and here, huh? On these swap out ones. It's a lot nicer when you're a kid and you just have unlimited time for this. Wait. <laughs> Shit. Hey! All it took was taking damage. Well, we got there in the end. That's what counts, right? Oh, that back sprite. No, there's not a lot they could have done there, but huh. Opportunity for Needle Queen to come in and soak that up, right? All right, we're gonna go heal. I'm thinking about that uh, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch thing. Sounds handy, but I'd maybe have to like. Oh, am I morally okay with myself downloading like a completed save to just go over and buy the TM for that, right? Otherwise, I gotta take the time to get far enough in a save to do that. Uh. No! I have a crystal save open. I don't remember how far it is, though. Hmm. That might be what I look into over the weekend. Mm 
It is past Goldenrod, true. Okay, so that would be fine. Didn't they make Thunder Punch one word? I think so? Pretty sure they did. I will be trading everything with myself at some point. At least as far as these first few generations go. Poor Sparrow, getting the tar beat out of it. Oh yeah, it will definitely be me actually, because I want I want my name to be the trainer name on all of them. Oops. So yeah, I gotta make sure I keep that in mind for myself. Oh, fine whip. Hmm. <laughs> Bruh, hurry. I came here. This is probably worse than before Cerulean City, because you do have to spend time fighting the bugs, and they don't give a lot of experience. Yeah. Back we go. I think that should be bannable. Oh my god. How could you type that? <laughs> well, there you go. And that's the same experience as the bugs I was just complaining about. Oh, Kevin. Once they're out of Gen 1, you can't put them back in. Same for Gen 2 and... Everything pre-switch, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Dead. Who's closer? Pikachu? Pikachu. Maybe Pikachu won't stick through all the way. He's, uh, squishy. Oh, true. Yes. It can just evolve some of these later on. I haven't gotten to planning that far out yet. I was still in um, being utilizable gear mode regarding that Alakazam we're talking about. But right, overall, that is something we can do more broadly. Oh, like a shiny Shanshrew. Four. Oh my god, what are we doing? Alright, we have some trainer fights coming up. That might be the move here. We might just have to do this, but over there. Having a good day near my window, sorry. Whew. There's a lot of them, especially in Gen 4. A whole myriad over there. Then, um, there's stuff like, was Rosary Gen 3? I like Gen 3 had a few random ones. give us a Charmander here, unfortunately. I won't need to get two Tangelas. 
and send it out to something like a Legends Arceus, where it's just really easy to do all that. I wish I had a psychic move to use on you. Do we had Rosilia? Right, okay. For some reason, my mind had shifted Rosilia to being a Johto Pokemon. That's right, we're part normal. Ah! Who's soaking it up? Pikachu is soaking it up. Also, oh, hi, Novatron. There. There's some um, layers to this madness I haven't peeled back intentionally so far, right? But just as an idea, if I really wanted to get absolutely insane with it, and I don't think I want to get this insane with it. There is the Dunsparce in Scarlet and Violet with a 1 in 100 chance of becoming 3 segment. So like, do I go crazy and just breed a bunch of Dunsparce and put them out into Scarlet Violet when there's some compatibility? I think I'll be happy with a 2 segment, but... Once that gate closes someday for sending the Game Boy Pokemon out. Assuming they never reopened it on Switch or something. Won't be able to do that again. So I have to sit there and go, do I really want to do that? That's something I'd probably do on my own time with like a podcast or something either way, but. It's bad enough doing that once for the Shiny. Let alone like bringing a whole other console, another apps into it. That's the one I don't want to fight in case I want to do the Mew Glitch anyway. Okay. Shiny GB Game Void does first two segment. Oh. And there's a hell waiting to happen. There has to be some insane way of rigging Gen 2 Shiny. I'm pretty sure there are. But, that's... I don't want to look down that rabbit hole just yet. And if anything, I think that still keeps the one I do have rarer somehow. So, hey. 164 chance, that's the number I was thinking of. Nah, no, no thanks. <laughs> are you level 16 yet? No. Okay. Oh, I read Gyarados trick, tell me more. Mm. Oh, there is a youngster. I was waiting on Justin to correct themselves. But I was just reading that message. Like, did anyone else hear Fisherman's Arm has stubby three finger hats? And I was like, oh my god. Whoa! My brain hurt. I haven't used Fury Attack yet, so I figured I'd get it in there. Spirit was about to evolve. That's cool. <laughs> All right, Pikachu, it's your time. We went 
the old rod till Vermilion, do we? Right. Not that I'm doing this with a magic harp anytime soon anyway. Hi, <laughs> my boyfriend is cool. She's talking like we're hitting on her. Alright, lass. What a gross little creature. They really shouldn't have let this exist. Nidoran's fine later, but that thing specifically. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I was really hoping we'd have the stats to do more damage than that. Man, I'm 10. I choked on a piece of cake three days ago for my birthday. <gasps> We're getting there. Whew. Okay. And the other Nina ran, right. Part with you regardless. Well, now we're talking. Not the same thing, but it reminds me a bit of this thing. Um, Pokemon Go, when it first started, was kind of a mess, right? Maybe not so easy to remember seven years later, but it was a burning trash pit for like the first week. I don't know if something glitched or what, but there are um, there are little badges that kind of graduate. As you do more tasks, right? Like catch Hoenn Pokemon or catch extra large Pokemon. There's some for the types. And the fairy badge would say uh, fairy boy or fairy girl or something, depending on which gender you picked. I've been a fairy girl since launch. And any other badge that refers to a gender calls it a girl. And it just feels like the kind of thing they would have pushed out an update to based on the one you picked at some point, but that's never happened. And I don't care, I think it's funny, but there are others who may not feel that way about it, so... Surprised that's uh, still a thing. Wish my guy was as good as you. I'm off to see a Pokemon collector at the Cape. Anyway, I guess I'll battle you. <laughs> Four? I might have went a healed if I remembered this. Right, I'm turning the AC back on. It is toast. Oh my god. Geodude XP saving the day. We're getting this level 16 Abra in this fight! If I didn't know that backstory, I suppose we need a queen. Would I have any idea what it was? Probably not. I don't think I would. Even Ivysaur, if I hadn't grown up with this sprite and I was just showing it for the first time without context. I'd maybe eventually get there with the bulb, but maybe I wouldn't interpret it as a plant bulb at first. It might take me a while. And there's my chop. It's the derpy little face. No, honestly, it's everything about this my chop, but that's always what gets me the most. Oh, please don't karate chop and kill the Spiro. Good, buddy. We got it. Oh, 
<sighs> I guess I don't really need to swap XP anymore, huh? <clears throat> Tries to peel himself off the floor. I like that interpretation. I like it a lot more than the gills I always interpreted it as. <sighs> you got me. You got me, bro. Look at that. He's got a one foot forward. Ah, oh, and we're useful now. Okay. The now legally cleared Kadabra. Where we have Kadabra, Needle Queen, Pikachu, Ivysaur, Spiro, who has been putting in work. This Spiro has been fairly useful for a Pokemon I've never used or really put any thought into. I'm kind of liking our team so far. I don't think it's like really useful, but you know, <laughs> we're pulling through and that's what counts. So next up, we have a guy here. We want to move out so I can get that item. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Backspray. back sprite. We're in, boys. We are in. We can win the game now. Look at that. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> it's nice to have an answer to the millions of poison types you're gonna see. It's relieving. Uh, just my opinion, but you're not beating everyone up with your starter. What's wrong with that? What, what, what's what, what are you doing? What are the two TMs we've gotten? Thunderwave and Seismic Toss. Hmm. Nope. There's a world where I could give that to Nita Queen, right? But I feel like I should probably hold on to that. I knew I had to fight you. I knew I had to fight you. Oh, it's a youngster, of course. Am I thinking of gold and silver, or is Ekans a version exclusive? Oh yeah, Ekans is only in red version. Right. There you go. Did someone say youngster? Don't worry, we did. Sand Shrew? So now I can start counterpicking. Now we're talking. Uh, AE asked earlier... Something I meant to respond to but didn't, I think. If I was looking forward to playing through Kanto four more times. Um, you know, I think I like Kanto more than most people. Let's see, what are the other times? Gold, silver. I don't think I need fire, red, leaf, green for anything, actually. I actually already went and did the thing from fire, red, leaf, green I need to do, which was... Grabbing the exclamation point and question mark unknown? Because that's technically where they debuted? I already went and did that uh, late last year. So I don't think I need to actually go through it for anything specifically. Unless I go back and really adhere to that uh, challenge I'm aping. Why did I think you had a Goldeen? What is this?
Oh, Spiro, I was just hyping you up. Come on. Gold and Soul Silver is something I need to consider because A, I never finished that uh, Nuzlocke I did back in the day, so I feel like I have a little bit of unfinished business with that game anyway. I don't know if I'd want to play through it, but maybe I would. Just normally, you know? I guess we'll see how we're feeling by the time we get there, <laughs> four generations in. Oddish. I don't know what I was thinking with the Goldeen. I have no idea. I'm a silly Billy. Oh, Tortellino. I think that's still on my VOD channel. Right? Did I delete that? Hmm. I'll check! No, I don't want Meekness Fan. I want Meekness Fan's hideout. There we are. Let's see. Playlists. Eh. I got all four streams up. Look at that. I don't know what was up with me, but by the end of that, I was just over it. I was burned out for some reason. March 2020? Did I upload that late? Was that really happening as COVID was starting? Jesus. What the hell? Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, Pokemon, let's go. There was a, um... Coughing that said gas? For some reason? I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not weird. I promise, bro. I'm pretty normal, dude. The cell separation system. You know, that thing. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I won't comment on the princess. Oh, that'd be a good idea, Justin. I'm not that cool, though. The fly. Didn't this come back in Emerald? I never played Emerald, did it? <laughs> I like that they just went for the weird shit, even out of the gate. Like, oh, he accidentally fused himself with a Pokemon. Don't ask where the Pokemon is afterward. You don't want to know. Anyway, here's a ticket to a cruise ship. <sighs> he invited me to their party, but I'm a fucking nerd. I'm gonna turn myself into a duck. Here it is, okay. Oh, Eevee! Oh, it looks like a little alien! Mmm! I don't like it. Flareon looks okay. <laughs> it looks like it's got static electricity, that makes sense. Vaporeon's not so good, okay. Yeah. Should have brought back Pokeballs missing. Joey, I need to, I need to ban you. I need you to be banned. We're going back to Cerulean City now. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot about Bill's Garden. Oh man, what the fuck? That one got me. Oh, I knew it. 
playground rumors. It's the most talked about thing with Pokemon, but god. There was something to having playground rumors about Pokemon, and then not being able to just immediately Google them. You just had to sit with it and go, well, that'd be cool, I guess, or actually go and try and find out yourself. I still remember... It was my neighbor's weird cousin who was over and telling us about the Mew glitch. And we were like, by that point, we were like, yeah, all right, whatever. But then he walked us through it and it actually worked and we were just fucking aghast. We were like, what? Worked? It always bothered me that Jolteon doesn't have a noticeable tail like the other evolutions. Well, there you go. Hmm. Understandable. I always thought Vaporeon's tail looked kind of weird, so I understand having a tail opinion. I feel okay before doing this gym. I guess we need to um, really see what we're dealing with here. I'm feeling confident enough, right? It's a tough life. One more save. You just do a Master Ball and a Master Ball in the mist. <laughs> Yeah, you involve Dragonite and Yoshi in Bill's Garden. I'm going to be right back for a few minutes. Or in a few minutes, a couple minutes. And we're gonna go take on Misty and head on from there. Be right back. Blah!
we're back. I just had a sandwich. I shoved nine pieces of tofu on bread, and now I have level one encounter power. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. Drain? Tofu sort. Not much left to the imagination there, huh? When we get to Gen 2, I want to use a Kingdra. I have never been able to use a Kingdra, but I've always wanted to. That was a critical hit? Oh my gosh. The swimmer does look like Mr. Libido. This water gym is kind of a tease, because you don't really get access to a lot of these Pokemon for a while. Kingdra's mediocre? Oh, don't tell me that. Pikachu. <laughs> there we go. He's one of the water greats. See? Listen to Joey. Now, um, someone asked earlier, I got lost in a shuffle, like what water type I'm planning to use. Am I doing Gold Storm? I don't know. Um, I think it'd be cool to use Polyrath. I've never used Polyrath, right? I kind of want an excuse to use him. I'm thinking about other options like Oyster and Dugong are cool in my book, but I don't know if they beat up Polyrath for me. There we go. Yeah, I was running away and turned in my crystal. It was doing surprisingly good for me, but. Mm. I need to re examine my understanding of this. This is what's happening, right? Like... That's not something else? No idea. <clears throat> it would get bodied by Psychic, yeah. A lot of things in this game kind of do, though. Which leads to the actual question. How am I going to counter a Psychic type? I guess just throw mine out and hope I win. <laughs> I feel like that's usually the answer. What a sassy little Goldeen sprite, though. Look at that fucking thing. God damn, is it smug. We were talking about sprites that turn into emotes. That one right there. And generally, you smack them with normal since they have low physical defense. Uh-huh. Oh, Pikachu. Oh! Pikachu! Okay, I'm gonna, I'll take that. Goldine sitting on Nuts send a tweet. Retweet. Alright, and just to be safe... Oh. Never mind. Polyworld was on Time Magazine. That is true. Alright, one more save for the memes. And just to be safe. Okay. They have to have a policy about Pokemon. There's some specific phrasing I haven't thought of in a while. Ah, 
What a cool Pokemon. Oh, God. I thought that would do more. <laughs> Alright, so I think Pikachu... Oh... Oh, that's interesting timing to do that. I think Pikachu is going to go down here, but I think I can hit off a Thunder Wave on Starmie before Pikachu gets taken down. And that might be more useful than using Thunder Shock. Either way, we're going to do it. Ah, oh, Starmie was such a good sprite. And then Starmie has such a bad sprite. I love it. Yeah, that was a good idea. <laughs> it was a good idea to paralyze that instead of doing a thunder shock. We're gonna go through and need a queen to the wolves here. This may be a world where we could have hoped for a poison instead, but I think that would have been a slim chance. Alright, so that's out of the way. Ooh. Aha! Part means it's paralyzed, so Pikachu used Thunder Wave? Which means that Starmie's slower, and sometimes it won't be able to move, which is very good. Oh, okay. Our throwing Ivies are out and thinking Kadabra might be back up. But yeah, Ivysaur handled it, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Stormy likes golf? Oh, how would it even hold the club? I'm not against it, I just need to know. Cascade badge means all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That even includes outsiders! Not traded in Pokemon outsiders. And there's Bubble Beam, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah. Thank goodness for the enemy giving some personality to Brock and Misty. Yeah, you and me, guy. Oh, my poor team. Oh, true, it does just use telekinesis. <laughs> Let's see. Where are we at? I'd love to see Firo soon, so I'm gonna lead with Spiro and see how that goes. Any attack animation I really like from the gen. Aeroblast does look cool in Gen 2, I would agree. Um. It's been so long that I can't quite remember a lot of them. I'll keep it in mind as we go along, but when it comes to mine, playing Pokemon Stadium on Switch the other day, I, I, I fought um, Clefairy, I think, and it used Metronome. And Sky Attack in that game? That hit a nostalgic point I didn't realize I had. It was like a fiery phoenix thing that emerges and shoots out toward the other Pokemon. Very cool. I remember thinking a lot of Gen 2 stuff was striking, I just don't remember what was what. I remember cool beam that would shoot from your Pokemon to the other Pokemon. Alright, so they stole Dig. We gotta do something about Dig. This is my yard, says M. I'm a sucker for a lot of the um, Gen 1 sound effects on attacks. To the point that I'm like, oh, thank goodness, they've actually like started incorporating them back into attacks in interesting ways. Like, Hyper Beam nowadays has the original Hyper Beam sound in it as part of the Sonic field, whatever you call it. 
I'm very into it. Okay. Thought that would level us up, but it didn't. We'll see how Spiro does. Not feeling confident about this one. Remember that gift of Golem from Pokemon Stadium? I don't think I do. This drowsy sprite? Not as bad as I remember. Cool. Yeah, Drowsy still looks pretty good. Man, and now he's dead. Okay, huh. I was such a goody two-shoes as a kid. I remember immediately coming back being like, Oh, I got, I got it! And I was so sad that there was no way for me to tell this man that I got it back for him. Alright, Spiro. I'm gonna drop some of these TMs off on the PC. But we're doing good! We've beaten Misty. It only took us two hours. <laughs> so that's cool. That's something. But still like to beat Surge before I finish tonight. I figure if I'm Getting two badges a stream, that's awesome progress, so I want to at least try to go for that. Nope. Oh, I, I didn't want to do that. Nope. Yup. Alright, where'd it go? Remember Snorlax that metronome fly, then had an opposing confusion where they look like a spotlight shooting out of his butt one year. That sounds pretty good. I'd like to see that. Are there are more than two PCs. Every uh, Pokemon Center has one, and then there's a couple other places that has them as well. Uh, one being unintentional. But yeah. Unless you mean more than two different options, and yeah, there's an item storage, Pokemon storage, and you can like phone in to Professor Oak and he'll be like, "Ah, your Pokédex is doing good. Go, keep, don't, don't stop." Bell Sprout. There's a Bell Sprout. Yeah. There's the first option, which is someone's PC, or Bill's PC after you meet him, and then you get your PC. So, like, mine's Mykonos' PC. And that's where you store your items. Well, this is a place to level up Spiro, if nothing else. Because there's apparently Bellsprout Patch back here. remember there being... I could be thinking about Yellow. I could be thinking about Gen 2. I thought there was a Pokemon that spawns here that's kind of interesting. Like, maybe the first time it shows up in the game or something. I never got the map from Gary's sister, so I can't check what route I'm on, actually. <laughs> easily. Meowth is found here. Well, there you go. Oh, you're so close. Oh, 16. Mm. You're right there, Spiro. Come on. So. Up? 
Man, Spiro looks so good in this game, though. What the heck happened? Oh, that's pretty good, too. Nice. Oh, all right, let's check him out. Mm-hmm. Something... Hmm. It's gonna be a shame, maybe, <laughs> to bring Farfetch'd in. Oh, that back sprite. Oh, look at that guy. Alright. Can I, uh... Speaking of other places that have PCs... Isn't there one here? No, there's not. I don't remember if I have another Spiro. That's my issue right now, so I was like, am I gonna have to catch one again, trade? Alright, so that's Sella. I wanna go this way. This would be an enticing trade the other way around, because I saw a lot more neater in females than males. I got a second earlier? Okay, so we're good. That's what I thought. Speaking of quality life stuff, being able to access PC boxes anywhere? Oh my god, I stubbed my toe, but also, oh my god, it's so convenient. Oh! Ah! It's not so bad. It felt bad at first, but it's fine. <laughs> You can catch a wild Fero. Uh, I very rarely ever um, traded or trained one up though, so kind of cool to have done that in Gen One. What am I anticipating him having? It's probably Nidoran, right? There aren't many bugs out here. I'm with a. They will totally bring Ash back. He will come back later for nostalgic reasons. I would maybe even say within two to three years he'll be back. Because now he can be the mentor character to these new ones and he'll bump into him now and then and... I don't know. Bite him. And like the movies, yeah. There'll probably be some Ash movies now and then when they need to yank the nostalgia cord, right? They can't just get rid of Ash, catch him. Wanna see me catch Rattata? Wanna see me do it again? This Caterpie! Man, look at that! Oh man, yeah. The Digimon Adventure Try thing would destroy the Pokemon fan base. Pokemon fans aren't strong enough for some of the treatment Digimon fans got. Oh. Poison Sting, even with same type attack bonus, is weaker than a neutral tackle. Everything is pain! Also, by the way, there's an ad in 10 seconds. Be careful. Look out. Oh. Okay, we got through that. I like bugs, so I'm going back to Viridian Forest. Fuck this open plane. We have the first would-be double battle that can't be a double battle. Do I want to do this? Yeah, I want to do this. That's fair. Oh, you know Captain Pikachu. We all know Captain Pikachu, I'm sure. There you go, Joey. I'm not catching it, but there you go. Oh. Oh, we're fine. Okay. That would have been cool, right? 
If he's like, oh man, I heard there's some even crazier bugs in the Safari Zone, he'd be like, what's a Safari Zone? I don't think you've heard about it up until this point. Why did I mirror match Pikachu? I just need to prove that mine's better. Scyther's red version. We get Pinsir on blue. Right. How'd you survive that? <laughs> now it's using Quick Attack. Okay. Yeah, there was a time where the brand guidelines were maybe a little more lenient, for sure. Or Cadabra's hurt. I guess we can afford a potion on him, right? Hmm. Yeah, Eevee's especially popular in Japan, so they got that Pikachu treatment. They can't acknowledge Raichu, they gotta show Pikachu. Squirtle! That's right, this guy just has a Squirtle running around. Oh, this guy. Heads in a hat. Honestly, that sounds pretty okay. Or Squirtle. Hmm. I think the SSN is going to take a lot longer than I'm remembering. You bug catcher. Are you good? Would have been good to keep my own gazam out front, huh? Yep. Ball reference in France? That's so weird. There's Ice another nice. rat kid coming up. Oh. Hi, Iberus. What's up? Shout out to Germany. First time chatter alert. Yo, hold up. Okay, let's see. All oh, right, there's double trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna heal Kadabra again. That sounds like an idea. It's true, we have mentioned Germany a lot. We must have summoned Iberus. I'm having a curiosity. I don't know if I necessarily want to swap Kadabra out. We have to trade an Abra for Mr. Mime. Mmm. I should have went and got another one. I don't know why I thought... It was something else. I don't know why I thought it was Diglett. There's Diglett on the way, that's how you get there. Hmm... I 
I never updated my thing! You have to do the badges manually in this for at least this game. We're doing good. Yeah, four average total, right? Hmm. We'll get there. Uh oh. Still revives, right? I can't revive that. Hmm. And the number counter. Have we caught another Pokemon? Oh, Fero. Right. I wanted to be sure about the Spiro, but then Goldstorm told me. Quick. Yeah, we gotta go on. The number counter is just something I click over here on my little device. It would be cool if there was something to track that more specifically. Yeah, it's an OBS thing. I just have it reading from a text file, and I have a button on my stream deck I just push, and it updates the count. It's the same thing I was doing for Trophies and Unleashed. Pidgey, man, look at this. Wow. All right, well, I thoroughly ravaged my team a bit in time for this Raticate. Eh, I'm feeling good. You can do this. Some would say that's the best Pidgey's ever looked. Joey would probably say it. I do have a fondness for it. Like Scarlet and Violet has some weird excuses for Pokemon to exist. If they just wanted to make weird, horrifying 3D renditions of some of the early Pokemon sprites, I'd be pretty into that. This was a bad idea. It's not using... Heck, maybe that was an okay idea. <laughs> Wiglet also. Convergent Evolution, definitely an option. I was thinking the Paradox Pokemon, but I like the idea of that also. Oh, I thought it was desynced. Okay, we're good. going to use Poison Powder more than Growl. Whether it's more useful or not, I don't know. I just know how I operate. Speaking of... Oh, okay, we tanked that. Okay, it's coming back around. Now I can poison powder. Just kidding. Just just kidding. Now I can be annoying and waste his time. <laughs> Now imagine if I just spent that time vine whipping him instead, huh? <clears throat> Alright, cool. Ah, okay. So the good news is, now we can do things. For one, we can heal. I don't need to reassess my team at this moment. I could grab an old rod, but I'm not really going to use it.
We need to listen to this guy ejaculate. It cute. It took me way too long in life to realize that this is conveying that he's talking a lot and you're only paying attention to the snippets of it. I thought for ages he was just weirdly waxing about this horse. I have a bike voucher. There's a glitch Pokemon who cries the Vermilion City thing. Okay, I like that. I like the way they do that, though. That's him giving you a thing that will help you, and then being like, but yo, there's actually even something better that I do. I don't even care about the bike. For you, that's whatever. Cool, good for you, but... I fly on my Fero. Idiot. Granted, I don't know how much we need the bike with this speed-up thing going so well, but, you know. <laughs> a bike voucher! I just lost a million dollars! Alright, we're good. We can put one... Oh, wait, we can't? Can you put an item on select in red and blue? Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Abra. Not. <laughs> now let's go to New York. The bike voucher thing really seems like the lucrative business. I'm sure if you um, calculate all the... Like, if you go to the game corner, those Pokemon have a value, right? I'm sure it still has nothing on the bike voucher. Slot. Right. That's true. That is correct. I forgot about that. I haven't had to think about that in a long time. Yes, good call. Thank you, Chimbus. Perfect. No. Wasting this experience, huh? Alright. Save to swap one. That's my shortcut. F1. We did it! So there is one! I guess I'm kind of like, what if we just got the others we need while we're here too, you know? So you can find Kadabra and Cerulean Cave. And you can just buy an Abra later, but I mean, we're already here, right? It seems kind of easier. Controversial. But I quite like overworld encounters in Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. Save game. Okay. 
So there's number three. Now I need a fourth. Pidgey? No? This is very montagical, if I may say so. Uh, this means whatever Abra we trade is like level 10, right? Or when we get Mr. Mime. Alright. theory there. I don't know if that proved it, but it sure seemed like when we opened the menu that catch was determined. Now, if I were to teleport with my Kadabra, would I go back to Vermilion? I think I would. Hi, JTart9. Damn, look at that. Now I want to get my Spearow out, which means I need to catch another Spearow, actually. Now I'm thinking. Justin, how is Suzumi? Su-su-su-su-su-su. There's a knock against using Farfetch'd, it's gonna be level 10 also, right? Oh, uh, is it this one? This house? Gimme ducks, yo! That's the second best movies ever made. Said to launch tomorrow. By this point, 24 hours from now, I would uh, be able to agree and/or disagree. <laughs> agree and disagree. Hmm. Here it comes. Oh boy, out the fucking pipe like a thing I can't say. I was gonna say a poop. Thanks, pal! Oh, I love him. Uh. My face, your ass, you do the math. So hot. Did I ever see this Pokemon? Oh, I wanted to go to one so bad, but I didn't do it. I should have went to those concerts, but I didn't. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go to Sarah B. Got to make a decision here. Like... Oh. The only flying movie earns is Peck! What are we doing? No wonder I never use Farfetch'd. You kidding me? You can learn flying. It's really just Peck and Fly, huh? I don't know what I expected. 
Man, I like Farfetch'd. Kevin's got a great point. I wish I could at least convert it into a Galarian Farfetch'd, right? Down the road. Ah. I really wanted to, but I don't know that I can... I don't know that I can support this. Toxic Arnie Slam. You can learn Bide. You can learn Cut. Oh, that's misfortunate. I have Farfetch'd, though. So there's one more for the count. Let me see that. Uh, Here he is. Boop. Orlando and Machamp. Hmm. I just had to sit and think about that. Have a platform to say these things, Kevin. No, 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 that should stay pinned. Oh. 1918-2019. This is going to be so difficult. I think I'm going to try it. <laughs> yeah, either way, that's causing problems. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Bill. Deposit. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Uh, where's Abra? There you are. Fuck me up to realize that this is supposed to be Yokohama. This town with like six buildings in it. Do I have great balls yet? No, but I have Ice Heal. Hmm. Never used Dodo -Do Dojo Rio either. Maybe that's the play. What a surprise! Hmm. Because I guess I'm trying to think of like what I can use a far fetched for, right? And it's Erica. I can use Farfetch'd on Erica. And I'm not sure how many other times a flying type will be really useful until like a Dodo Dodrio. Oh. Look at it. Justin didn't make us mods on his stream for a while. Like, Kevin got banned from Twitch because Justin didn't make us a mod on his stream. Like, I'm just saying this pointedly, but... All oh, right, we're part poison. <laughs> Which is weak against ground. Somehow. Anything that can resist it? Ducks. This is going to be rough. Ironically, Pharaoh would have been great here. Well, Justin told me to, um... Justin told me to do it. You know? Like, what am I going to do? Say no to my friend? It does feel kind of wrong, right? It 
could be a little more if I counted the evolutions of some of the things we haven't evolved yet, but it didn't feel right. Uh, a fighting Pokemon can't fight. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I thought he was just holding a cup of coffee. Yes, yeah. I will put this on my micro SD, stick it back in my 3DS, and use a checkpoint save manager to just inject the save back into the virtual console thing. Um, there's like two lines of junk code you have to get rid of one way or the other, but other than that, it just works. My original plan was I wanted to stream it from the 3DS, and I'd be sitting here just holding it, which A, would look maybe a little silly, but I couldn't get the video capture thing to work anyway, and you have to do it over Wi-Fi from the 3DS. So this is just better all around, but it is what I envisioned this as. And with the speed up and everything, this is probably the right idea. Marcel! Right. Look at that guy. That's a Detective Pikachu star. I need to... I figure I could show me clicking on here, right? This is a good visual way to look at it. Where is Mr. Mime? Here he is! Blop! Yeah, you know what Kevin said in perspective? We do have two badges, almost to the third. <laughs> Not a lot here ticked off. Granted, we've been skipping some stuff. And, like, Rattata? I didn't click Rattata, apparently? I have a Rattata. Did I catch Weedle? Maybe I'm off here. Hold on. I may need to reassess this. Confusion and barrier. On this cat. Right, we need cut to get to any item here. I think by the time I care about any items down there, I can just fly here and use cut. It's like a moonstone, right? Nothing up here? Okay. Did catch a Weedle. Good, good point. So I have 16 Pokemon by the count of the website. We'll run back to a PC and check on this. Teacher starter cut? I feel like there's worse ideas you could do with a Ivysaur. Moonstone and Ether. Makes sense. Charlie Chaplin. I remember when I first discovered Charlie Chaplin. I will need one of every stage of each starter. We'll be able to transfer to gold, silver, crystal, breed them, and then send them back here and export them, though. That counts them as being from Kanto for some reason. So that's at least something. Alright, so let me look here, right? Kadabra? Forgot to add Abra and Kadabra. That'll do it. Also, look at this tentacle sprite. Hold on. Where'd he go? Look at that guy. Wow, who wouldn't want that on their team? 
All right, what the hell am I doing? Needle Queen, do I have Needle Queen? I implemented this website thing after um, my count. And I think that gave me ample opportunity to fuck up. Farfetched, I did click, right? Farfetched and Mr. Mime, okay. That's what I need to do. We're not keeping Marcel around. Sorry, Marcel. Bell Sprout, I have. Clefairy and Clefable, I sorted. Weedle, we just did. Caterpie, I have. Rattata, I have. G, I have. Nidoran, female, I have. I have. One of each Pidgey there. Not my brightest idea. Another Rattata. One, two. Clefable and Paris. Sandshrew. I don't think I clicked Sandshrew on here. I have to be looking right at it. There he is. So 19 if you go by this. Sandshrew and Pharaoh. Did I hit Pharaoh in here? I did. I'm just like triple checking Paris. Alright. Can also go to box two by now, because that one is getting pretty plump. And those are the two abras I need for later. Yes. Okay. Whew. Well, that fucked up, but now we're all back in order here. say these things, Kevin. Catching up here is Battle Network time. Uh, I'm sure I've warped back at some point when I was a kid, yeah. I... I... Yeah, exactly, if the trophy moment noise was there. I think it's faster, with emulator speed up at least, to trade out, and then hatch the eggs by just running up and down, right? Nope. Would it? I don't know, actually. I don't know. six party slots because I was keeping Abra. I was like, did I get rid of someone I wanted to use? No, I'm just stupid. I have some optional fights out this way, but I... Catch Diglett first. So I feel like more important than getting far-fetched up to speed would be getting a Diglett to handle Lieutenant Surge. Just have to see if this one-shots it. Get him, ducks. about <laughs> lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots I see about one yard All right, what do we got on Diglett here high speed scratch growl and nose dig already uh -huh. 
Und das Deck oder Bau. Tony 6, Tony E. Level 26, okay. I think I can find one in here. Do I want to put any effort to get it and try to... I don't want to. Ooh, this is the one I should use. an okay place to grind for a minute. Level 15? There's a range in here, huh? I keep critical hitting all of them. Alright, 21. You can survive this one, right? Does he drink Surge Cola? Oh, of course. Kadabra! Stop being so good! Should you learn that? Well, the good news is I can one-shot Diglets in this cave now as Kadabra. <laughs> So, there's easy experience. <laughs> He's just scoping in. Okay, here we go. That's the setup I needed. can be my party diglet. Cool. Oh. oh. <laughs> they came in here and got two levels off that nonsense. Alright. Well. Plan is... Is it this one? Does he have any extra moves by being level 22? Nope, okay. That's a good question. That might be something everyone but me gets to weigh in on, because I can kind of... I can kind of sway that, you know what I mean? Like, I can just choose to pick one for last, so... I don't know if I get to have input on that, actually. Vermilion City, the Port of Exquisite Sunsets. Aw. Oh, it's stomping the land, right. I don't think we ever got to see a Kanto where this was built. That's why we need like a future game in Kanto and not the same three year period over and over. <laughs> something dumb like Seeking. It might be. Like it could just be something I forget about. All right, I'm gonna save real quick. The one guy that goes to all the parties. Yeah, Diglett's a bit of a partier. I need a bathroom break. I'll be back in a minute. One second.
The Diglett were wild in the anime. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that would be pretty funny, Justin, wouldn't it? I think that'd be a little humorous. I'm gonna save just in case I change my mind about this SSN. I don't think I'd want to come back out and grind to the east, but just in case. All right, I can't. I can't go to the truck. Oh man. I'm never confident which room is ours. Is it this one? Nope. Oh, it's a looker. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Who am I leading with here? You went to a room of these people. Who do you... How do you lead... Rubbing in the other birds now, huh? Okay. Poor Peak's just getting walloped by a Pidgey. I guess a question I should pose to chat. Obviously, I don't have a water type Pokemon. At some point, it'd probably be optimal to have that or an ice type. I was talking about Poly Wrath earlier as someone I thought would be cool. I'm mostly just thinking about Lance and those Dragonites of his. Barring power grinding to just destroy him anyway. I'm going to need to consider those. What should I do? We are cruising around the world. Cool. Just run Jinx? I never used one, so you should. I have neither. Apparently Jinx is pretty good. Maybe that's what we'll wind up doing. For the meme, right? And nothing else. I've never in my life had a reason to use Jinx outside of, like, the Pokemon Stadium games. And that was mostly just because it fucked me up that its hair would spin around on its head when it attacked. Yo, Ducks? Level 11? Let's go! Invent the Fairy Hack and get Clefable. I wish. I guess that's what Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are for at a point, right? Alright, well, we cleared that room. I always travel with Wigglytuff. Poop, poo poo. Sleep powder with a different name. Ooh. Cherry pie? What do you think this is? A cruise ship? There we go. You pup! Honestly, I can get behind you, some Jinx. I have literally. Like, the more I think about it, I don't think I've ever gotten Jinx and used it for more than, like, two or three fights in this game. Just to be like, well, I guess I got it now. I could send out Kadabra, but actually... Oh! <laughs> Look at him! Oh, that's bad! 
And now he's gone. Hmm. What a little dude. Iran female. Alright. Jeans keys, I can't see without my glasses. Farfetch is coming along quickly, at least. I can say that much. Feeling kind of good about Diglett. I'm worried for when one of his dig attacks eventually miss in the gym, and then he just gets one-shot by something. I travel alone on my journeys. My Pokémon are my only friends. Mood. I don't know about the framing of this. Can I...? Sure, that's better. Oh, Growlithe. So strange, so different. Uh, I said need a queen out, why not? See what happens. Need a queen's kind of falling behind a little bit here. I mentioned earlier I wasn't going to stick with Need a Queen, but I don't actually know what we could replace it with at this point. Outside of like going on the Magic Carp grind or something crazy. I guess at worst, it's resistant to electric for when we get to the gym, so like it's maybe useful there for a bit longer, right? I read the first few words of what Kevin just said. I have a feeling I know where it's going. I just need to take a few seconds to think about it before I finish that thought. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Okay. <laughs> Hitmonlee is available in a pinch. Especially if Attract is in this game. It's not, actually. There's no gender stuff. Frankenmutt's on it. Kept Fisher can use the save state. Now we're talking, okay. Oh, Growlithe, come on. Stuck their head in the cone. Whew, we did it. The fun part about all these, um, traded Pokémon I have, I'm still gonna want to breed a baby version of them, or like a new version of them, so they don't have the nickname. Hmm. Do you think they neuter pet Pokémon? I mean, sometimes you gotta, right? Oh. Is there a cabin on the base floor? All this? Dodo. Is Dodo really that good? I guess the speed, right? Hmm. Oh. Here's the reason why I was so sure there'd be something in the trash cans in a murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, look at that. He's happy. Dodrio has the same attack as Snorlax, and it's very fast. It's the best normal bird. Oh. Did you hear about Snorlax? All it does is eat and sleep, bro. Sounds like me. Hmm. 
Did anybody ever make a note there's only trash here shirt? No, but that's a great opportunity. That'd be a banger shirt. There you go, someone does mention it. Out of the way, hon hon at the tui. <laughs> Is he from Kalos? Look at this hot as fuck picture of a Snorlax I took. You can see it's Snorlussy. How old are you again, kid? Where is my room? I want to take a nap. You would think after like 20 fucking years I'd remember which room it is. Like, we're near the captain's quarters now, right? So it was up on it. Oh. If I took, like, two more steps that way, we would've fought Kevin. I don't think Kevin's been here while we've had Gary on screen. <laughs> this leads out to the front deck. What are we doing?! You don't think it's in Gen 1? Am I thinking of Fire Red- oh, Fire Red and Leaf Green thing? I thought you got a- a room to sleep in. Cause I thought that was how they got around you not being able to go to the Pokemon Center. Oh. Wait, can you just leave? Oh. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what the hell I was thinking of. Never mind. I'm stupid. I'm a fucking idiot. Your room's the top left of the initial area. Oh. Well, we'll go check on that now, huh? Something else I want to check on. Route 12. Hmm. The top left of the initial area. It's a Snorlax guy. Ah oh, well. We'll run out. Check out what I fished up. I like that guy. I don't like that guy. The tire. It could be like a Hoenian Trubbish, right? Why aren't you standing up, Justin? There's a question for you. chicken. Not really hearing any reasoning for or against in that. <laughs> I'm chicken. 
I feel like this fight has been very generous to me. I feel like I've just swept and I've only just finally taken damage. Okay. There you go. Farfetch got almost two levels out of that bad boy. Party? Oh, we missed the party, right. FTCR Shadow of the Hedgehog LP. I think Stefan still wants to handle that one, so I guess it's up to him. I'm not gonna push for it at this point. I'll let him do whatever he wants to do with that one. We still need to record more of the Frontiers Let's Play. I should have sent Diglett out. Hi, Derek. Oh. Oh, that, right. I need to not put Poison Sting up there, because I keep thinking it's viable. Alright, we get it, Pikachu. We really do. At least we resist it, right? Yeah, we've already made a few years worth in the last few weeks, so I don't think we should do any more. That's a good point. Ah. We're rolling. We already got ducks up five levels, bro. Fury attack? That's the only move it even needs to level 25. <sighs> Did I miss the Mega Punch TM before going to Cerulean? I don't know. Where was it? I kept expecting to find it and kept not finding it, so I got confused when and stopped paying attention at a point. <laughs> My brain did a hurdy. This is a total of six videos, exactly. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. I like manscaped. have been in that open area before the ledge. Which one? Wheel, 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 wheel. That's the fun about Go. Now you gotta like keep an eagle eye out all year for them to randomly be like, oh, this event has Kangaskhan worldwide. And hope you don't miss the fucking three day period. send out Diglett. Let's we'll see what happens. Hmm, that's what happens. Yeah, double battles are cool, right? Remember those? Those are kind of fun. Ponyta. What a little cutie. We're gonna beat it up. Can it just beat Diglett? It probably can. <laughs> we like your vibe. Hmm. Ooh, we're good. Cool. Yeah, no, exactly right. You'd always make sure you got a double battle, because fuck, who knows when the next one would be. Okay, far-fetched. Dig what's uh, getting there. Oh. Oh, I can. Okay. To buy more potions. How many. How many money do I have? Money? Oh, I'm getting rich. Okay, cool. Oh.
Oh. <laughs> yeah, you get a double battle gem in Scarlet Violet, and that's it. Here's the test. I'm gonna see if Farfetch can hold his own. Eh, what's up, man? Could be better. Not bad. You get boost experience because he traded. Mm, yeah. Triple battles were only Gen 5, and they were pretty sparse there. If I remember correctly. No, oh, Pikachu, come on. You fool. Oh. Black and white had triple battles, and it also had rotation battles, where you could like, s you had three Pokemon out, but only one active Pokemon, and you could like switch them around and try to predict what your opponent was going to do, kind of thing. Very weird, but kind of interesting. I don't trust that this guy is not going to try to fight me. No? Here's a guy mentioning his fire zone. There you go. Oh. Yeah, kind of like that, actually, yeah. I hear many people get seasick. I hear people also get heartaches. Oh, Franken wants a Gen 5 hater. Look at that. Will you heal me? No, right. You just didn't get one in Gen 1. Huh. I didn't think I played enough. It must have been Gen 2. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. Okay. We have cleared most of the ship. They did have rotation battles, yeah. Those are the ones where you swap around who's out while keeping them all out. Oh, here's the actual test. Okay, that's bad. Time is not so bad if it is the one you play next. Hmm, who do I want to send out on this? I don't think I need to trade swap far fetched for XP anymore. It's a poison type Pikachu. Ah, the gear is an ice cream thing, man. I kinda get it for the ice cream Pokemon, and I kinda get it for the trash bag Pokemon, right? Like... You get it, you know? But I also like those Pokemon. I think they've really grown on me over time, so... Whatever, man. There's dumber Pokemon than those.
I was just careless. Anything, I feel like Nina Queen's the one I need to swap XP on now. Earth. <laughs> Okay, I thought there was at least two fights. Would have been cool if it was Platinum and Arceus, yeah. Oh, I guess I should have kept Farfetch'd out, huh? Hmm. At least we resist fighting? Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Very blue. That's better, sure, why not? I don't like the monkeys. I like the first stage monkeys. I don't like the evolved form monkeys from Unova. I'm with you on that. Those are the ones I understand the hatred for. <laughs> Those ones can go away. Here's going to be an exercise for me. Is shelter water or is shelter water ice? Just water, okay. So much blue. <laughs> yeah, you see, Doug's Din Doug Dinsdale would have never let that pan soak thing fly under the radar. I don't know how much she named Pokemon, though. Oyster gets ice. Same with Deep Bomb. Okay. Thank you, Sailor. The party's over. The ship will be departing soon to the Mystic Ruins. We'll pretend I got that right. idea. This, uh, could be controversial. I did not think I was on this for. Oh, can I not do it in this version of Visual Boy Advance? Ah! I, th <laughs> I thought I could, uh, rewind. Mm. Mm. We have to commit to this one. I didn't consider myself ready for this fight. But I think we have to do it. <sighs> yep. That's a good question. Um, I had that consideration going into this, right? Because I was like, I could just make a Chris. I'll probably never not want to be Chris, right? Maybe Meekness changes someday. But then I thought about all my alchemies and sword, and how I never, ever, ever want to do that again. Especially since 14 of the necessary items are RNG crafts. Because they're never ever going to run the events again that give you those items. So you can only get them in the DLC through RNG. Let alone all the other ones. And I was like, probably just going to stick with me this either way at that point. Because, oh my god. I need to check out that translated Pokedex thing now. Pikachu! Yeah, dork. Hmm. Controversial take. I like this Pidgeotto more than modern day Pidgeotto. I kind of just like how plump it is. That's the main thing. Ooh! And that's gonna kill it. Pikachu! Yeah! 
else does he have? Love Charmeleon by now. Eradicate. He's probably got a cadaver of his own. I'm picking Diglett purely for the speed factor here. Oh. Oh, it worked out! No, wait! No! Okay, that's not so bad. Wait, he still has three Pokemon left? Oh my god. What are we doing? Fuck you, Kevin. Level 16, Radicate. Yeah, that's not so much damage. Feeling better about this fight. Excited to get a grass move with more than 10 power points, though. Nice. Mm, he does have Kadabra. This seems like a time to hope Diglett can get a critical hit on Dig. We'll see how that goes. Oh, it used Teleport. I could have sent out Ivysaur, assuming it didn't have confusion, and maybe had something there actually, right? Not sure. Either way, that won't be relevant next time we see that Pokemon, unfortunately. <laughs> Invent the dark hack and use bite. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's a cool Charmeleon sprite. Looks like he's got a little diapy or something going, but hey. Did Diglett just one-shot Charmeleon? Oh my god! What? Isn't Pidgeotto the name of the guy from Pizza Tower? I think so. At least you're raising your Pokémon! I heard there was a cut! Master on board. Smell ya. Alright, well Diglett just MVP'd that one. I don't want this yet. There's still some XP we can get on the lower decks, right? That or there isn't, and I'm just misremembering. I've lost track. That fight threw me off. 100 base power. Oh, gracious. I figured it knocked a pretty good dent in that Charmeleon. I wasn't expecting an Oko, if you will. Man. Hmm. Okay. So we're healed up. Mykonos Flash to the SS ticket. Delayed Earthquake. Here we go. A max potion here? Go, go! Is it? Is your sailor's pride at stake? We're weak against waters. So we'll pull out of this one. No, but Trauma's asking about attack animations I like earlier. I forgot about the four frame 
bubble attack. Well, that's weirdly nostalgic, too. Right, well, there's Horsey dead. Unit Queen level 19? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm con constantly waffling on how much investment I really want to put into Need a Queen. Like, I'm kind of looking at Diglett, like, should I be giving him the swap XP? Uh, between the two, it feels like definitely. Hmm. Let's start doing that, I think. <laughs> the bubbles do scream at you, yes. I feel the same way, Jambo! I, I like Horsey, I like Cedra, I like Kingdra, but... Outside of running into them <laughs> at the water gym in here, like, how often do you think about them ever, right? Near some Seafoam Islands, but... Once you get out of Kanto, you don't ever really see them a lot, either. You know what they say about sailors and fighting. That's a great point, Gold Storm. <laughs> Diglett has already proved its worth, and Nido Queen just kind of pokes at things. Unfortunately. This shelter is determined for us to hit ourselves, and we're going to. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Who can finish this off? Who should finish this off? Can ducks finish Shelter off? Let's find out. Hmm. And it raised its defense. Okay. Oh? Okay. I could have won worse. Oh, it does resist nice, yeah. Good fight, mate. Alright. I want to be a sailor, mate. Mm, one, two, two more? Okay, I was gonna go heal Pikachu, but I don't think we need to. I'm sure there's more water types in the next two rooms, but... Done. Dusted. Oh, and we got sand attack. Well... What more would you want? I probably wanted to swap out of that one, actually. Star is a little scary. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I understand the Mike's the Klasa thing now. All our Pokemon. TM44 is, um, well, it's one of my favorites. It's Rest. Yeah. <laughs> Two more here. 
And then that is the end. Yeah, okay. These guys just can't talk, stop talking about their ocean Pokemon. Staring at your dick. <laughs> Is Dream Eater Gen 1? I think so. I'm pretty sure. And shoulder. Pokemon Sorry Licensed Board Game. Hmm. Interesting point of reference. Never got to play that. I was going to make you my assistant, too. Oh, man. Looks like a job for Diglett. Or ducks if this doesn't do much damage. Oh, Diglett's just ruining here. As long as I'm using Dig, Diglett's just sweeping. That's every trainer, I think, unless we missed one, and I'm not, not sure how much I care at this point. Also, he, that guy mentions jellyfish. Don't think there's a jellyfish Pokemon yet, right? I must have been talking about Inke, eh? <laughs> well, Jay, I got beaten up by a kid. What? I like that they let you look into his vomit bucket. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Oh, I guess Tentacle is jellyfish, isn't he? Never really think about it that way. <laughs> and then we rub his back! Oh. We're ten. <laughs> you, you wanna learn how to cut? F fucking, why didn't you say so, kid? Yeah, you got the heel Pokemon jingle for rubbing his back. Now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's my time. Alright, so someone's gotta learn cut, and I think we all know that it has to be ducks. I think Diglett could learn it and maybe put it to okay use. Just kidding. Was there a time Diglett could learn cut? Why am I thinking that? I guess I'm thinking of Scratch. Mmm. Yeah. Great job with this celery. Alright, we're getting the fuck out of here. Jeez. You gotta take your uh, non cave dungeons in Gen 1 when you can, though. It was yellow where he could learn it. That's why I have that memory. Okay. That would make more sense. Glad it's not a phantom memory. The ship sets sail, and that's all he has to say to you. Alright, let's heal our Pokemon up and see what the heck we're doing. Now I can't check under the truck, yeah. 
I'm glad they eventually started putting things under the truck. I like that they acknowledged it. You know, they're like, we know you're gonna look, so we'll put something here for you. I... need to put some of these things away. Pause it. I don't need that anymore. Save the max potion. I feel like that'll be more useful later on in the game. Nope. nope. I want the great ball. There we go. Man, it was a lava cookie, right? Whew. Okay. So, as it stands, we have all 24 Diglett who just might wind up carrying this gym. We got Ducks who shouldn't show his face in there, but goddamn, look how good that bird is. <gasps> OT trainer. <laughs> we got Ivysaur who can withstand electricity and fuck things up if they gotta. Pikachu, who is self-explanatory. Wild card. And poor Nita Queen. Yeah. What I need to know, and what I'm going to Google, I want to see what's to the right of Vermilion, because once we're out of here, it's going to be a while till we come back to Vermilion. I want to see if there's any Pokemon I want to worry about to the right of Vermilion. Oh, Wikipedia has this nice shot from Let's Go of this town. That is a good looking game. Will it tell me what's to the right on Bulbapedia? I'm not sure if there's like an interactive map thing on here. I guess I could be <laughs> showing what I'm looking at, huh? Uh, you can click through all the routes, how about that? <gasps> Yo, wait! Hold up. Oh, wait. Okay, that was the map link. I guess that makes more sense, doesn't it? <gasps> so many contos. Drowsy, I knew there was something weird there, right? Here we go, okay. So now that I know this is Route 11, I can come back over here. Because this place actually has encounter tables for everything. Blue. Yep, Drowsy, 25% chance. We don't... We can only get the gold rod. And then there's the Nidorino trade. Okay. I'm gonna be right back again. All oh, this hydration's catching up. One moment.
I gotta replay this and hear what the heck this says. Don't worry, Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Fist Comet. <laughs> fist Comet. It's either First Comet or Fist Comet, and either way I like both. Okay. Whew. Three and a half hours for getting through all the Nugget Bridge, SSN, Misty. I feel like we're doing okay. I'm gonna go catch a Drowsy. Hypno we can catch later, I believe. Hypno. He's in the Cerulean Cave, first four at a 15% chance. We can probably deal with that when the time gets there. So for now, we'll get a Drowsy in and knock it off the list. Ten elements, thank you. Also, to say it clearly, thank you, Wordy Jess. If I have a spare, spare row or not, so we're just going to check while I'm thinking about it. So I know I did have one, but then I traded one for ducks. And if I don't follow up on these questions when I have them, these will slip through the cracks and become worse later. Okay, I do need a Sparrow. Literally Unreal was banned. Damn. That is Unreal. Well, Alright, cool. Let's go find a Drowsy. I guess I should be getting experience too over here, right? No sorry needed. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh. Oh, Ekans easy. We're approaching the point where these should start becoming our box, right? We're getting close. It's so close to Doug Trio, I can taste it. Where's the gambler? Here he is. <laughs> Pony Wang? Oh, look at that thing. It's got a little bit of a... going on. Oh, and by that, I mean... Will this mess with anything? Can I do this? Is this fine? <laughs> Alright, we're back. <laughs> I feel like this Diglett could probably take this at this point. Looking down the barrel of Lieutenant Surge, so we may as well, right? Oh my god, there he goes. It's almost there. Atcha! Didn't go my way. Pokemon is life, and to live is to gamble! I know he knows what he means. But I have no idea what he means. There is a Sand Shrew again. Hmm. Alright, there's 
Here's a Spearow. We can catch you now. I had to check the, uh... Health bar to see if we were halfway, if another scratch would kill it. There we go. Alright. There's our Spearow. But I think I already had that counted due to the pre far fetched tree. Yes, I do. Okay. We'll have to re confirm all this along the way, I'm sure. Uh, I could just catch it, but. A, I didn't really want to keep looking in there, honestly. And B, I don't know. I figure at least this way we've used it for a bit, right? I got to train it up in the SSN. That probably would have like been the better way to go, honestly, but eh. Come on, get this drowsy sorted. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Level 9? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I know who won't defeat it in one shot. He does have some money pants, doesn't he? Okay. Okay. I think that should be good, right? Perfect! Boom! Now we're at 21. Let me go click on my little website here. Where are we going? There he is, 96. We got 20 Pokemon, 21 Pokemon. Alright, this is already messed up again. <laughs> I'm having a procedural issue of some sort here. I didn't click Diglett, that's what it was. Alright, we're good. <laughs> no worries. Puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally gets sick from eating bad dreams. What is 9 plus 10? It's like 3, I think. Been a while since I've needed to know. No. There we go. Are you a bug catcher? That sounds like bug catcher talk. I think it's a big number. Oh, perfect. I kind of hate to XP hog Diglett, but I think it'll pay off. Nidorino Sprite's iconic, though. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, he's most of the way to the next level. Answer's currently on stream. 55! Multiple Gambors out here. This looks like a place for Farfetch'd to exist. It would have to suck to get thrown out of a ball, and immediately after being conscious, you just get wrapped up by that thing.
All right, we woke up and it let go. We're out here. Patch may not be very great, but at least he's keeping up level-wise with the XP boost, right? Ah, yes, the Mew Glitch. We'll probably do that one at some point during this, to be sure. I forgot I had the bicycle this whole time. Jeez, I'm dumb. <laughs> Fight those other trainers now, because if we don't do it now, there's not much point in doing it later. I never really got what these things were supposed to be. For some reason, I always thought they were just big cables on the ground, but that doesn't make any sense, right? It's not a fence, because you can just go over it. Voltorb? He has something weird, right? No? Okay, never mind. Grass markers? Hmm. Sounds complicated. This sounds like a good Pokemon to remember that Pikachu exists for. <laughs> I forgot we had one. Yeah, small curb. Yeah. I guess that makes sense, huh? <laughs> oh, the things that we assume at age six that stick around forever. Alright, so we got Drowsy. We got two more trainers out this way? Three, okay. Poles and ribbons are waiting in a line. <laughs> I think that was part of my issue with thinking these were cables. This guy says, watch out for live wires. He's obviously talking about like a pole or something when you look at it now, but... I wonder if this is my Voltorb suspect. I think this is when we get Doug Trio. And it seems like it's happening. You know, I just noticed. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? <clears throat> 8 16 p.m.? That's not so bad. Alright, who else could use experience? Magneton! I think it'd be funny to throw Kadabra out. Oh, that wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. Zapdos Lab is uh, more top right. We got to go east of Cerulean and go around that path down into the rock tunnel. We're like below Lavender, technically, right now. I wish I had the map so I could just open it up and say, here's where I am. What? Look at the boys! Look at them! Alright. Now we come back over here. Remember what number Diglett is, and go boop! Nice. 
Now there's three of them! Oh my god! Let's check out how his stats are looking. That's better. Big scratch ground, sand attack. Mm, let's put... Pikachu up front? I don't know what these other guys will have. <laughs> Field. And another guy here. Man. There are a lot of people on this route. There's the Voltorb. I knew there was one somewhere. That makes Pikachu a bad choice. I should put... Need a queen out. Oh! I'd like to see them get something else, right? They are kind of analogous to Magnemite. And it's always weird to me when one part of... You know, like, one half of these weird little pairs they introduce gets something, but the other doesn't. Like, Scyther's got Caesar, Mega Caesar, Cleavor, and, like, Pinsir and Heracross got Megas, but never got an evolution, you know? Piss Orb. Just gonna pin that one real quick. Mm-hmm. There was the Alolan Diglett Dug Trio, but you know, need a little more than that. I'm needy. Magnemite. I <laughs> love barbershop hats. I should at least try to poison it, right? It worked. Poison a Magnemite nowadays, I'll tell you that much. In this climate, wolf. Well, Nita Queen's almost level 20. Is that another guy? How many trainers? Oh, wait, I might have seen that one. Okay. I think, jeez. I was. Coming out here, like, oh, there's probably two or three we can fight before Surge. Mm. Okay. It's <laughs> made out of rubber. <laughs> if they ever felt an incredible need to explain themselves, well, I guess. Let's Go would have been the time to do it, but the Contonian Magnemite, that's still just electric type. If they just really needed to be like, well, that's why, it, that's why, you know, he was a part steel. He was Contonian Magnemite, bro. Once you cross over Mount Silver, you just get the steel type, dude. I don't know why anyone in Japan would speak like that, but... Pikachu's almost leveled up, mm, but that's Eradicate. Yep, we're pulling out. Mm, let's put the trio to work. That's true. You can cut the grass. That is a thing you can do if your Pokemon are like almost dead and you're like, oh my god, what the hell? You can just cut it. Now we don't have any encounters to worry about. They forgot there were steel types. It was a state of mind thing. <laughs> I do like that. Whew. Whew. This is a very menacing looking red. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna swap out. Oh, 
Poor Growlithe. Vulpix, right. Looks pretty good until you look at the eyes, and it gets a little creepy. Is that everyone? Did I get around to- nope. <laughs> That's why I thought these were cables. Because the guy says I'm laying down some cables. That's why I think they're cables. will die if I leave him out. Oh, only five hit points. We got this, Doug Trio. What a secret MVP for this route, man. I guess this is where they would have wanted you to train them up. Okay, and I think that's actually every trainer out here. If it's not, I maybe that's good enough at this point. <laughs> yeah, okay. I fought you and the guy down there. We're good. We can heal up and go actually fight Surge now. I want to buy potions because I keep forgetting. just in case. Um, there's going to be more Pokemon I want to catch soon, so I'll grab those for now. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Okay. Let's go kick this guy's ass. I'm gonna lead with Pikachu. I guess I'll throw Needed Queen out front. Would I have one last hurrah? <laughs> Water veteran. You can't just A button the bush, you have to manually cut. Oh. It was so different. Lightning American. All I remember about Lieutenant Surge is the voice... Well, that's not true. The main thing that always comes to my mind when I think about Lieutenant Surge is Matty Blaustein's, Blaustein's portrayal in the anime. And that was for some reason to make him say everything about how oh, you're a big baby. Yeah, oh, you're just a big baby, Ash. Oh, you baby, you stupid fucking baby. You didn't involve your Pikachu? Yeah, you're a bit of a baby. I know there's a trick here. I don't remember what the trick is. I just saved. Why did I save again? Right? You kind of just go around, you're like, this is that. second. <laughs> Give me the Thunderbolt! <laughs> okay. That was a necessary detour, I think. Oh. Legend of Daniel! Hi, hello! Thank you. Sorry, I was very distracted. Should be here somewhere. 
No. Somewhere. It just went away? Well, thank you anyway, The Legend of Daniel. It didn't show up for some reason. <laughs> oh, okay. What did I miss? <laughs> go, go right, choose your favorite Mortal Kombat character. Yeah, that was Maddie in the episode, but not even Maddie Bowstein Meowth. I forget which episode that switched over. Sometimes OBS just needs to let me scroll up and chat. Is the piss orb like the Booyah bomb from Splatoon 3? I haven't played Splatoon 3, but I have to imagine that yes, yes it is. I think that's the one that like explodes, right? Alright, now we're just gonna do this. No shame. This means it's always somewhere adjacent, right? Yeah, okay. So that's usually the issue. But if you get in a corner spot like that, then you at least narrow it down and have better odds, but... What a... What a puzzle. <laughs> Surge says goddamn. If only we could have had that Lieutenant Surge say goddamn too. Yeah, this VOD's probably gonna get wrecked. Don't worry, though. I mean, it's on YouTube, right? It'll probably be okay. Maybe. Oh, the Pokemon anime is old, isn't it? 25 years. Yeah, no, around then. Mm. I don't like that. Six? Hmm. Why would that happen? Hmm. Really did. Jesus. Also, <laughs> Daniel. Ah. I think I need to make the the Pokemon dialogue boxes wider, huh? I made the text smaller for Joey's, and that worked, but, mm. that, That's kind of funny, though. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Hmm. <laughs> you surprised me, Thunderbolt! I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. I don't even know about your alcohol. Right! So many characters have whips, because part of the idea was that you'd, like, tame your Pokémon, initially. There's that leaked build where your trainer has a whip in their sprite art. I forget about that sometimes. That's why so many characters in this game have whips. Weird. Back when those capsule monsters. Gen 1 and Gen 2 development stuff, especially. It's like a drug. Anytime I look at that stuff, I just fall right back down into the rabbit hole and I just spend like an hour going over it all again. Mm, dogs could finish it off, right? Didn't even use an electric attack. Yeah, I, don't know, I just love pouring over that stuff and seeing what they were thinking, when they were thinking it, what made it through, what didn't, you know, what changed. With the Pokemon games especially, I don't know why. It's just the most interesting to me more than other games. Sonic comes close, but it's not about Pokemon. I just like seeing what they were thinking. Oh, the Gen 2 leak. I was up all night looking at that shit. <laughs> it was bad. 
<laughs> As a grown adult, I just couldn't get to sleep. I was too excited. Like, I never, ever thought that shit would get out. It was crazy. And then it just kept leaking out for Pokemon in general for ages. I still feel like we haven't seen everything from that leak. I still feel like we're gonna see stuff come out. That's not based on anything, it's just like it just kept happening for so long. My mind's just like, yeah, of course it'll keep happening. Did we talk to you? Yes, we did. Well, luckily I did break a code, nerd. <sighs> Shit, I'm gonna have to look at all that stuff again after this. I'm already feeling the urge. Weird little Selby dude, too? Oh. So good. Not good, but so good. The OG Gold and Silver don't have this puzzle. Mm. At Quillfish Evolution. Fucking love over Quill. But man, if we'd gotten that old one, too. It's like... I, I like a lot of the regional things. I like all of them, actually. Um... But we kind of touched on the issue earlier with uh, Farfetch'd, like what Kevin mentioned. It's so cool that there's a Galarian Farfetch'd and then it turns into Surfetch'd. But Farfetch'd doesn't really get anything on its own, you know? Like, Contonian Farfetch'd is kind of stuck here. So it's double-edged sword. It's very cool. I would take it over not taking it, but... You know, with something like that or a Quillfish, that OG one's kind of left in the cold. So at least in that world, Quillfish would still have an evolution, right? But then maybe you never get Quillfish. So, or Overquill. Mm-hmm. Second primate for Game Boy Annihilate. I've already got my Minky selected in Go. That's gonna become one. Contonian Surf Edge. Yeah, exactly. Like, honestly? It could just be the same one, but it uses the sword as a lance instead. Done. Don't even have to make it that different. That'd be good enough for me. <laughs> that original Porygon too. Yeah, it's crazy. What a weird looking thing. Porygon 2 was a much better idea, but man, that thing was weird. There's only trash here. Okay, it's, it's gym time. So I played like, what, two, two and a half, three hours Monday? So we, we sped up quite a bit by now. <laughs> you won't live long in combat! I'm gonna eat eggs off the floor! Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. He zapped my enemies into paralysis. <laughs> Regional Burmy. Please, no. Maybe that's a little too much. A mid stage between Natu and Exatu? I think I remember that, but what? Hmm. Oh, Nido Queen. games are insane on Game Boy. Musically? It's incredible. In my book. They're insane. There's so much going on. And it's always getting <laughs> cut off or interrupted by other things that need the sound channels. But my god. There's like intricate bass lines and shit going on. Mm. Very good. I guess I'll use the next speed on my Pikachu. It's not even just the mainline games, too. Like, the trading card game? Pokemon Puzzle Attack? Was that the Game Boy one? They also have really good soundtracks. I think Pokemon is fucking ruled musically on the Game Boy. Alright, there's that one down. Now we get the real threat. Oh, look at that big chunker. 
I'm gonna poison it. Am I gonna get through this with attrition because it's gonna keep trying to use electric attacks? Oh, that didn't sound good. Puzzle challenge, maybe that's what it was, yeah. That's a really good game. Okay, Needle Queen, I guess you're gonna... <laughs> I guess you're gonna carry through this, huh? Is there someone I want to swap to to get experience? Like... I guess I could throw out Pikachu at the very end and be dorky about it, right? The body slam! Yeah, for some reason, he's not using the body slam. I think I just sent Pikachu out to die. Hold on. We're good. That's not a Pikachu level up, but that's a Pikachu help. I, I shit my pants! Looks so different. <laughs> the Thunder Badge. Cranks up my Pokemon speed, bro. It fucks you up. They, they, you got Fly here, but you don't get that for so long from now. I guess it's not that long, but still. Thank you, Spider Knife. Thunderbolt. Whew. We did it. I wasn't expecting Needle Queen to body most of that after we pooped on it for a while, but, you know, I guess that works. We got third badge. Cool. Hater said it wouldn't happen. Now we gotta get out of here. Okay, we got out of here. Okay. trying to decide. I don't want to go much longer, right? So I'm trying to decide if I want to stop here. Let's at least, um, get to the start of where we need to go. Yeah, because there's a lot of trainers on the route east of Cerulean, and I'm going to want to fight them all, so we'll just get there. Ooh. But yeah, that's Lieutenant Surge down. We got two badges in today. Like nine additional Pokemon. <laughs> that side doesn't make it sound like we got as much done. I should have led with that. But yeah, we are now uh, at whatever route this will be. We'll go through. I'll um, check out what's along the way and next time. See if we're going to catch anything or wait till later in the game. And we will... Gosh, what's the next thing? Go through Lavender. Get through to Erica somehow. I guess that's where Duck Tr Duck's Trio? That's where Farfetch'd will come in handy. And the Kadabra. And I guess we'll see from there what we wind up doing. Yeah. The world kind of becomes their oyster a little bit soon, so we'll figure out what we're doing. But thank you everyone for hanging out for the last... Four hours and 15 minutes. Long stream by my standards. Thank you, Chili, for the bits and for updating me on your Rattata. <laughs> uh, thanks to Keith John Stack for following, Moriarty for 10 bits, Iberus X for following, Ready Jess for bits, and the Legend of Daniel for bits. It's been fun going through Pokemon again and remembering all this Pokemon stuff. <laughs> uh, ooh, I have a lot of options for who to raid. What if I sent you to the Oni Fox who followed recently? Send you all his way. 
Are there a way, actually? I don't actually know. I typed the Onyx Fox. That. Hmm. Alright, I'm getting you set up to get out of here. Enjoy your gaming. Their channel is intended for mature audiences. There you go. Alright, have a good night, everybody. I'll be back next week. <laughs>